guys, what's up? It's Ducky here, and I'm back with another video. Today, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make custom thumbnails with paint.net. Okay, so first, what you're going to want to do is you're going to go to the internet, open a new tab, type in getpaint.net. Okay, so then it's going to take you to this website. What you're going to want to do is click where it says download, go down here. Um, this one right here, download dot, okay, click that, go right here, download it, and then click save file, and then once you've installed it, you want to go to paint.net, and then here you go. So, once you're here, all you really need to do is go to, um, new, and then the pixels are, um, so yeah, what you want to type in is 1920 by 1080 so what that will do it'll give you this uh, let's just do that and then okay oh hold on okay so what you want to do now to make it transparent you do that and press delete there you go so now it's transparent like yeah so you can see in the back yeah so okay so what you want to do like you want to go onto the internet you want to type in um whatever you want the background to be let's just make it um what should we make it um just how about grass field there images all right, so, okay. So let's just say that we want this. What you wanna do is you wanna do that. Oh, hold on, not that, okay. So, all right, so now what you wanna do is you wanna save image, just name it whatever. Okay, so now it's saved. So now what we need to do, go to paint.net Add new layer, import from file, um, and just make it as big as this. Okay, so make sure you're right on it. Okay, so now what we need to do, all right, so let's just say, um, like, if you want to add text, what you need to do, we just do that, and here we go. You could like change the font to so, like, uh, we could make it, um, which one should we do it? Maybe that. And then make it 84. And then the color, press F8. There we go. Maybe like that. Alright, so. And it'll be, should we make it bold? Yeah. Oh, whoops, okay. How to make custom thumbnails Ooh, uh, let's center this. Oh, actually, whatever with paint.net all right so we could just like make it even like that i guess how to make custom thumbnails with paint.net i guess we can make it 96 actually no that'd be too big so 84 is perfect okay so once you have that if you want to add anything let's just see um paint dot net okay whoops um there all right so let's get an image of the logo of paint.net logo there we go so let's just see like we want let's just say that we want this one or 
Okay, this one's transparent. So see how it has like the lines in the background? That means it's transparent. Just, yeah, paint.net logo. Okay, so now what I need to do is go to layers, add new layer, then import from file. Paint.net logo, there we go. We have our little paint.net logo right here. Here, how about we add another one? Make it look nice. Ah, uh, okay. There. Alright, paint.net. There we go. Okay, so now that we have that, we can just like, we don't really need to do anything else. Once you have that, that's pretty much all you need to do. So if you want to add like pictures or stuff, you could just do that and add them right here. So yeah, guys, that's pretty much it for this up um, for this video. If you enjoy this, oh, first what you need to do before that you need to click save as and name it whatever. This how to make custom thumbnails. There. All right, PNG, there. All right, save, flatten. Okay, so there we go. So now if we exit out of that, we go into our images, go to pictures, and there we have it, our picture, our thumbnail. Okay guys, so that's it for this video. Remember if you, if you enjoyed this video, like, comment, and subscribe. And thank you guys for watching. And adios, personas. And also one more thing, guys. Put in the comments which tutorial I should do next on how to do what. So, and yeah. So, adios, personas.